and 11 11 is how 121 so it is 11 so here i got number one equation now what is my condition number two the digits at tens place so who is at tens place that is x is seven more than digit at unit place so if i add seven to unit place then i will get the digit at tens place so from condition two What is the condition number 2? That is the digit at tens place. Digit at tens place is 7 more. 7 more means 7 plus. 7 plus digit at unit place that is y. If I take y here, what will be my equation? The equation will be x minus y is equals to 7. So this is my equation number 2. Now here I got x plus y is equals to 11. Here I got x minus y is equals to 7. So we are going to add equation 1 and 2. So add equation 1 and 2. So what is my equation 1? x plus y is equals to 11 plus x minus y is equals to 7. x plus x that is 2x, y minus y cancel, 11 plus 7 that is 18. So we have to divide 18 by 2. So x is equals to 18 upon 2. Therefore x is equals to 9. Now I am going to put the value of x in equation 1. Put the Value of x in equation 1. And if I put the value of x in equation 1, x will be 9. 9 plus y is 11. So y is equals to 11 minus 9. y is equals to 2. So what is our number? The two digit number. That is 10x plus y. And what is x? That is 9 and y is 2. So 10 into 9 plus 2. That is 90 plus 2. That is 92. So what is my answer? The number is 92. Let us take now second sum. In this sum there is a three digit number. So we have taken three variables. At 100 place I have taken x. At tens place I have taken y. And at unit place I have taken z. So what will be the number? That is 100x plus 10y plus z. And now what is the first condition? The three digit number is equal to 70 times the sum of its digits. So digit sum means only variable sum that is x plus y plus z and that is equal 17 times if we will do that is equals to the original number. So what is from condition 1 what is the original number 100x plus 10y plus z that is 17 times sum of the digit that is x plus y plus z. So we will open the bracket 100x plus 10y plus z is equals to 17x plus 17y plus 17z. Now let us take all these three here at the left hand side so they will become negative. So 100x minus 17x plus 10y minus 17y and plus z minus 17z is equals to 0. 100x minus 17x that is 83x then 10y minus 17y so that will be negative 7y and z minus 17z that is minus 16z is equals to 0. So this is my condition number 1. What is the condition 2 now see from Condition second, 
what is that condition let us see the digits are reversed the number is 198 times more than old number so if i reverse the digit that original number uh, plus how much we have to do 198 so if the digits are reversed the number is 198 more than old number so if i reverse the digit then z will come at x place and x will go to the z place so what will be the reverse number 100z plus 10y plus x and that number is 198 more so 198 more means plus the old number what is that old number 100x plus 10y plus z now what i am going to do i am going to shift everything at the left hand side so what will x is here so what will happen that minus 100x plus x then 10y 10y automatically cancel and here 100z minus z is equals to 198 so here if i subtract what will happen minus 99x plus 99z is 198 And you know, one ninety eight is ninety nine two sa. See now, one ninety eight is ninety nine two sa. So I am going to divide equation by ninety nine. Divide equation by ninety nine. So what will happen here if I divide by ninety nine? It is minus x plus z. That is equals to two. So this is my equation number two. Okay, now what we are going to do? We are going to keep z here and x. We are going to shift here. So what will be z? Z will be two plus x. And we will write this equation as number three. Now let us see condition three from. Condition three. Let us see what is that condition. The sum of extreme digits means x and z. Their sum x plus z is equals to less than the middle digit by unit. So what is middle digit by? And it is less than one. So here in place of z, what can we write here? Two plus x. So in place of z, I am going to write two plus x. So the equation will be x plus two plus x is y minus one. So x plus x that is two x plus two is equals to y minus one. If minus one, I will shift here. What will that y will remain here? That is two x plus two plus one. So y is equals to two x plus three. So this equation we will keep it as number four. Okay, now we have three equations. Now equation three is z is equals to two plus x. Equation y is two x plus three. And equation one is eighty three x minus seven y minus sixteen z is equals to zero. So we will write eighty three x as it is minus seven. And what is y? That is two x plus three and minus sixteen and what is said that is two x two plus x that is equals to zero. So eighty three x minus seven two is a fourteen x minus seven three is a twenty one minus sixteen two is a thirty two minus sixteen x is equals to zero. So first we will do eighty three minus fourteen. And minus sixteen. So eighty three x I will write as it is, and minus fourteen and sixteen minus thirty x, and uh, minus twenty one and minus thirty two. That is three uh, and two plus three five is equals to zero. Now let us subtract this. So three minus zero that is three, and eight minus three that is five. 
53x minus 53 is equal to 0. Therefore, 53x is equal to 53 and therefore x is equal to 53 upon 53 that is 1. So, I got value of x1. Now, I can find value of z and y by putting values of x in equation 3 and 4. Put the value of x in equation 3 and 4. So, first of all, let us take equation 3. So, that is z is equal to 2 plus x. So, 2 plus 1 that is 3. So, z I got 3 and y is equal to 2 into uh, x is 1 plus 3. So, y is 2 plus 3 that is 5. And what is my number? The 3 digit number The 3 digit number is 100x plus 10y plus z. So, 100 into 1 is 100, 10 into 5 is 50 and z is 3. So, what is the answer? 153. So, which is my 3 digit number? That is 153. If you like today's my teaching, please like it, share it and subscribe it. Thank you.